Good afternoon, I'm Firebox. Today, I want to talk about a few things. Primarily, I see the question a lot of new players asking what region they should start in and the best Pokemon to actually carry you through the story. So I want to deep dive and go over in order what regions you should complete and a couple Pokemon that you can keep in mind to use throughout your story that will make both gym battles and the Elite Four a lot easier and more forgiving. The first thing I want to talk about is the level cap for each region. So the cap is 56 for Unova, 58 for Hoenn, 60 for Sinnoh, and 62 for Kanto. The reason that this is important is if you start in Unova and make your way down, slowly increasing your level cap, it will stop your Pokemon from over leveling and you will be able to use the same Pokemon for every Elite Four throughout all four regions, which will save you time and money. Something to consider though, because of the power level of the starter Pokemon, I think it actually depends which region you should start in based on if you are new or if you're creating an alt account which you can mail Pokemon to yourself to make your playthrough a lot easier and not have to level up for all the different gyms. If you're brand new, I would actually recommend starting in Hoenn. This is because it's the lowest level cap outside of Unova, so you will still be able to use those Pokemon between Hoenn, Sinnoh, and Kanto. With how strong Swampert is, it will carry you through almost every single gym in the game, and it's still useful for the Elite Four. If you're like me, and you just recently created an alt account to have more accounts open, I would actually recommend starting in Unova. This is for the big reason I talked about earlier. Because you're able to mail your Pokemon to yourself, you're able to do the gyms a lot easier. And you're able to get yourself some really strong Pokemon that will not over level as long as you do the regions in order. And you'll be able to carry those over for all of the Elite Four battles, which is really important. The advantage to starting in Hoenn as a new player is that even though you're not going to be able to make use of some of your Pokemon for the Elite Four or Unova due to the level cap, you can leave Pokemon in your PC and use them throughout your Unova playthrough and plan it out that way, which will cause the playthrough to be relatively easy regardless of starting in Unova or Helen. I also want to go over some of the Pokemon that I used myself. These will very easily carry you through the story, and I do want to mention that you don't need 2 times 31 however it is very helpful if you put them in their primary stats. If you're doing it with an alt account, if you EV train beforehand, it will make your life a lot easier as well, especially the speed, because getting outsped, especially in the Elite Four fights, can mean the difference between a very clean run and having to use a lot of heals and or wiping, which is something you definitely don't want to do. I would also like to mention that outside of the primary stats, I would really recommend having 15 to 20 in the secondary stats such as HP, Defense, and Special Defense. To look at the Pokemon we would want to use for story runs, we'll start with Sandile, which evolves into Crocodile. And you'll see here, they can get pretty expensive if you're looking for really good stats. This one has 31 attack and speed and 25 plus in all the other primary stats. This would be really helpful to get you through the story runs, but is not really something possible for a new player to get. This is more for someone who already has a pre-existing account and wants to make alt accounts and run through the story a lot easier. So what I would recommend is go to the GTL and search maybe 25 plus in each stat. Also, for Crocodile, we're going to want Adamant Nature. And honestly, even if you're on a budget, I wouldn't even really look for 15 in the other stats because the attack and speed are going to be the most important things. And you'll see here that just that difference, we could get this Adamant Nature 
Sandial, which has okay stats. It has 20 HP, 15 defense, which is okay. Um, and it has 25 and 26 in speed and attack. It's obviously not going to be as good as hitting 31s. But if you are on a budget and you're trying to save money, you could get one of these cheaper Pokemon and use it throughout your runs. Just remember, if it doesn't have the Moxie ability, you are going to have to pay the 35000 to Ability Pillet, so you'll have to add that to the price. But please make sure when you're doing this that you look for the correct nature. We want plus attack nature. It looks like Staryu is pretty expensive right now if you're looking for good stats. So if you're looking for the 31s, it's going to cost you about 130 k for suboptimal secondary stats. Staryu is going to want the Tibid Nature as well, because the speed is pretty important. If we're looking for a budget option for Staryu, we could drop it down to 25 in each of these secondary stats. And you can see here, there are some options. We could get this Timid, which has 29 special attack and 30 speed, which is pretty close to perfect. Honestly, this is a pretty good option. If I were starting a run... This will be good. The only thing is, it will start at level 39. So if you wanted to start the run with Staryu, you couldn't do that. You would have to start using Staryu a little bit later on. Which can be good if you wanted to save time leveling. And it could be bad if you wanted to start using Staryu right from the beginning. For Haxorus, we are going to want the Adamant Nature. Again, this is a cost thing. Preferably, you're going to want 31 attack and speed with decent secondary stats. But if this kind of price point is a little bit much for you, you could alternatively look up maybe 25 in each stat. And the prices are going to be a lot more reasonable. For example, this one here looks like you could get 25 and 29, which isn't too bad. The only issue is I would really recommend the other ability called Rivalry which is going to increase your damage of Pokemon of the same gender. So if you were going to try to buy something cheaper, you might have to ability pill it, because rivalry is definitely a lot better for the story from my experience. Between all of these Mon, if you have an alt account, I would really recommend that you EV train these Pokemon. And if leveling is a problem, there is the option to EV train without leveling. It is a bit expensive, and if you don't have the item for yourself, you would have to get someone to do it for you. But starting a run with a level 1 max EV trained, whether it's Crocodile, Starmie, or Haxorus, it's going to make your run a lot easier. Alternatively, you could just EV train as you go and just take the EVs. And you probably still will be able to run through the stories relatively easily. But obviously if you EV train in the main primary stats, your run is just going to be that much easier. Outside of those three, Swampert and Charizard for Hoenn and Kanto are going to be your best bets. Again, they're free. You don't have to actually pay for these. You could get a more built version but to be honest i was able to make do with the one they start you with it gives you a neutral nature so it's nothing too crazy but it is good enough to carry you through the story and the story while it is difficult it's pretty fair and gives you a pretty good margin of levels against the computer so you can really breeze through most of the content without needing a perfect statted pokemon I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate the support that you have given me. I'm hoping to continue to grow my channel, and I hope that you are here with me. Currently, about 15% of you are subscribed. I would definitely appreciate if you subscribed as well. That's all I have for you today. Have a good day.